It's the day before we leave and I literally just got home from work and we're gonna go eat real quick because we have to start packing like immediately because pretty soon it's gonna be like 12.22 in the morning. Kind of fell asleep during the whole process and Bethany's a little bit mad at me because of that. I'm sorry. I'm going back to bed now though because tomorrow morning we have to wake up early at five in the morning because our flight takes off at 9.10. What? I just said 9.10. Yep. going to baggage claim to pick up our bags. Yep. Derek's dad is going to pick us up in a minute. We're gonna, I'm going to try to convince him to take us to burgers or something. I'm starving because it's like 1 o'clock Ohio time. Ohio time, but it's only 10.30 Denver time. So we're hungry. You're going to run into this lady. We're here for all This is the terminal for all passengers. Chances we could get burgers. Pretty good. What kind of burgers would you like? Whatever. Cheese burgers. Yeah. We made it. We did make it. Colorado. So our flight got in on time. We picked up our bags. We got in the car with my dad. We got burgers, which was awesome because we the were starving. The Wendy's here. The Wendy's here is so much better than any Wendy's in Ohio, far and away. Maybe it was just like a singular, really good branch of Wendy's, like that location. The burger that I had, let me tell you, let me tell you, the cheese was melted. For some reason, meant a great deal to me. The sauces were like perfectly proportioned to like get every part of it but like not overdo it so it's not drooping out like flop. all this stuff was stacked really well I was very impressed with this Wendy's the frosty was more chocolatey it was fantastic 10 out of 10 anyway the next couple days it's just me or just me just us and just you it's just us and his and his grandparents so that's gonna be fun we're going out to dinner going to the Olive Garden fancy OG OG, OG. I'm really enjoying this temperature here because in Ohio, or at least in Cincinnati, Ohio, like it's on the borderline of being in the South, everything's very humid uh -huh. and muggy during the summer. You'll come to learn that everything is perfect in Denver. The weather, the Wendy's, mm. the baseball. Here's the thing though, is that Cincinnati is just starting to feel like home. Like we've set down roots. We've made friends with Kyle and Heather, who mm -hmm. you guys saw in one of the vlogs. This is gonna sound really weird, but like game group, like Todd and Shelly, Kyle and Heather, for some reason, and, and my Bible study, like all the girls that I've met there, just like making friends, I am really resistant to the idea now of moving away from Cincinnati. I'm okay with moving, I'm okay with letting go of relationships and forming new ones, but I think the older I get, the more settled I get. Here comes your grandpa. Hi. Hi. You kids who understand the Mac thing come up, and I'm trying to get logged on to my credit union account, that was hilarious. What was I talking about? Unless you got some crazy job offer that was really amazing and you could make a lot more money. I don't even think I would want to move to Columbus. I got a new job. I accidentally posted it on Facebook. I did that thing where I updated my job and then I didn't realize that it posted that to Live, my timeline. To everybody. For, <laughs> to yeah. everybody. And so I announced it to the world that I got a job working just as a receptionist part-time at a vet's office. I'm thinking it would be really cool to maybe get a two-year vet tech 
degree and maybe learn how to be a vet tech because it's a really nice office to work in and I'm learning a lot about veterinary medicine and I really like animals I like working with them um, but mm -hmm. the current path that I was finding myself on I wasn't really satisfied with it as a career it just sort of was existing and paying bills and whatever so I feel like I've been kind of just like treading water for a long time and making money and kind of just learning about different types of people and how to do a job and how to be a good employee and like it's been stressful to learn a new job but I also feel like for the first time all the anxiety of starting a new job is manageable and I feel capable of doing it mm -hmm. instead of just feeling like that anxiety of starting a new job and feeling like I'm never going to be good at this like people probably think I'm an idiot. This is a giraffe mug. It has a tiny giraffe inside. And when you drink the coffee down to a certain level, I'm not, I don't want to spill and show you, but when you drink the coffee down to a certain level, you see the giraffe. It's amazing. I think your grandma's obsessed with giraffes. They're all over the house. It's her favorite animal. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. We're gonna go do stuff with his grandparents. Hit up Olive Garden. We're gonna hit up Olive Garden. Oh, gee. Get them bread sticks. Get them sticks. I'm gonna go hard on them sticks. Yeah, Zupa Toscana on this a maid came in from Oli and she was a little shy, but she couldn't hardly notice it at all. She met a gay young city chap who thought that he was fly, but she couldn't hardly notice it at all. 